Yeah. I like this shit, J.O. I get a better number, you gon' meet me a winner. Win. I hate this shit. Yeah. Niggas afraid me to stay in the picture. I had to scale and I had to snow. No, huh. it wasn't the summer. Man, she was a blizzard. For real. I done seen Miz in the kitchen, he working his magic, I think he a wizard I grab my ratchet, then you in the casket, I pull my hand on the trigger what else? Ran it up ten toes in the trap, I'ma get it yeah. Yeah. It was a trip contest between me and you, then I be the winner Splash. Yeah. Drip. Drip. Yeah. I'm at the table, I'm fixing the plate, I ain't eating no dinner Rolling. No matter the number, I'm packing up shit what else? You ain't from the trap, then you can't relate yeah. You ain't from the eight, uh, you don't know the shit yeah. Ain't too many niggas, you know you can't Fuck with me, you know you can't Fuck Free Kayan, I wish he escaped. Oh, my young nigga come back. Shoot on okay. hey, 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 all right. Hey, you you, 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 you he always block. been a cock blocking ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're now tuning into me, 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 me. Million dollars worth of game. I'm Wallow267. This right here. I go by the name of Gilly the King. That's Don't call me white girl, but I'm going to call a white girl. Don't call me white girl. Million dollars worth of game is presented by Bar Stew Sports. That song of the week was Reef Royals. Big Royal, man. Listen, man, we're going to get right into it, man. Hey, listen, right? First of all, I told you stop introducing me. Second of all, you, you ain't Wallow Two Six Seven no more. You JT, nigga. Everybody from here on out calling you JT. That's Jonathan right. Tackle. No, you Officer just mad Jonathan that bull, Tackle. That boy mistaked me for a hero. You and still she, mad about that and shit? She the queen of the mile. All right, you, you stop, 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 stop introducing Don't us. Don't call me Don't white call girl. Me white will girl. suffice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, listen. But before we get into this. Episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game. Me, 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 This Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam Vodka is 80 proof vodka made from some of the finest quality grains in America's heartland. It's distilled five times. It's filtered three times for a clean finish. And you can also drink uh, New Amsterdam Vodka straight up. You could drink it. You know, you could take it on the rocks if you want. You could drink it with any type of juice, soda, you know, whatever you want to do. You can also make a New Amsterdam mule. So just make sure you get in tune with New Amsterdam vodka. My house is stacked up with it, you know. From time to time, me and two have a little, you know, a little goddamn, goddamn. Make sure you get taste. New Amsterdam vodka is the official vodka of Barstool Sports. So make sure y'all check that out. Look at this. Mm. Wow. We're getting to million dollars worth of game. Let's get into million dollars worth of game, man. You know, with this coronavirus shit still going on. <laughs> I'm I'm really tired of talking about this shit, but it's it's it's, it's affecting our lives yes, every it is. seriously fucking day. More and more. Just as uh, it's just How can you not talk about it? Right. Like you can't. So I came up with a question. Right. During this coronavirus, if we could have one thing back, what would it be? So if during this coronavirus, if we could have sports back, but just on TV, you're still quarantined, but sports is back. Would you take that? Would you take nightlife? So you're quarantined all day. But you get to go out and enjoy the nightlife. But you got to be back in the morning. Or would you have work? Oh, I got to go create. I need work. Fuck that. I don't really care about the sports thing. I'm not. And I don't care about the party thing. I just need to work. So you. you I'm would, going out to create. I need that. I need to be able to create. But you could create from your house. No, I like to create out, out, out in the world because I got to jump on planes. I got to go to different places. I got to do a lot of no, shit. No, 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 no. You're not jumping on no planes. You just go to work and you come home. So well, my work you, is so all listen, different places. So listen, so listen, so listen. So if you work from 9 to 5, you're quarantined until you got to go to work and come home. That's it. Oh, no, that's corny. Ain't no, no, I'm just out and about. You just running up on the cameras. No, they ain't going to consider that work. They're going to be like, no, 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 take your ass Which out. part of that list is like the hairdressers and the bitches that do feet? Huh? And the waxers. I need that back. So you would pick the work? I would pick a, a fucking wax and a pedicure and a, and a frontal. Damn. I'm fucked up out here. A lot of these women, <laughs> a lot of these men are watching... You know, there are significant others turning to their little brothers. You didn't even know that bitch looked like that. <laughs> and it's fucked up. And I feel for every we all ugly. All y'all. And a lot of y'all doing these natural challenges and all that. You ugly. We all ugly. 
Let's Damn, just accept so, it. So, so everybody's ugly? Majority of us need filters and frontals and pedicures. I did my own feet. I talked about that. But let me episode. explain so something to you. I did my own you. feet. Let me ask you a question, though. So you actually, when this opened back up, right now me and Gil should be getting the building and investing in a, uh, a nullery right now. Because hmm. you're trying to say when this shit is over with, it's going to take a woman probably like a whole day and a half to get to come back to life. Definitely over a day. I'm th- three days. Like why because three days? How do how do the procedure go for three days? Because the feet gotta crusty. They got to, you know, it's going to take a day to shave them fucking feet. My feet are soft like a baby's ass. My I mean, y'all, y'all feet bullshit. get crusty. My feet are soft. My feet get hard. My feet get hard. My feet, my feet, feet, are, feet come across the cardboard leg. box. The well, trick, the trick to soft feet is when soft skin period. When you get out of the water, you you grease yourself down. That's a gel trick. You grease yourself down while wet. A gel trick. They do that. You Gil grease yourself down. Period. We was uh, on the beach down Miami. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what? I'm just saying you did. Gil all is that. has a greasy head in person. If y'all was wondering, super shiny. That's cool. Yeah. I'm picking sports. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, not me. sports. Yes, yeah. because if we gotta be stuck in the house, sports makes shit a lot better. The game come on tonight. Oh, two NBA games a night. Oh, what? My fucking football. Oh, hockey. So you oh, just over you a gotta, freshly no. waxed pussy. Tennis. No, gotta, oh no, no, no. I take. You know how hairy take, pussies take, are take, across the country. No, no, no. I take bushy cushy no, right no, now. These Fuck pussies that. aren't aren't ready. I take ready. bushy of, cushy right now. Give me LeBron right. dunking on Razors. niggas. Are using there? These pussies I are not pep ready. Pep ready as in pep smear ready. As That's in what they say on your shirt, right? That's exactly. That's exactly what is this pussy pap What makes ready? a pussy pap ready? Yeah, maybe what makes it ready? Well, pap smears are super uncomfortable, a bit painful. So, you want to be kind of greased. You know what I mean? You want to be kind of ready. What's that joint where you get... Cold fingers, and they, they, they take their cold fingers with gloves, and then they, they make you open your legs and stirrups, and then they jam this plastic thing. Relax. You seem way too, like, invested in your body language. Thank you. I like how you check it. my OnlyFans. You put the contraption in the vagina, you crank that motherfucker open, and then they use little things to test shit, swab shit, and then they test it. So to be ready for that, you want to be like wax. You don't want to have a hairy cat. You know what I mean? Mm. You want to be fresh. Well, what's that joint where you go to and they skirt the water in your ass? That's a colonoscopy. Yeah, he loves those. He had about <laughs> eight of those. I think colonoscopies are good Yo, for everybody. That's You've cool, never had but one? he had eight of them in three years. Who the fuck gets, they water shot they ass eight times he in three years. Wallow, do you like the feeling of colonoscopies? He, li- he lying on do you, do you like Have that you feeling? had a colonoscopy? I'm yes. He I'm, lying on um, Gilly, have you had one? No. You get up to eight. Why not? Uh, I'm gonna to... go get one next week as soon as we get off Rona. But he had eight of them in one year. You gotta take care of your prostates and your colons. That's serious. Okay, listen. He had eight of them. Another in one thing. Year. And another thing to the to uh, black men. It's cool to go get checkups. It's cool to Absolutely know about your health. Okay. Like we be so scared. Like it's cool to go make sure that you're not you're not spitting fire. Right. It's cool to make sure you you, you cholesterol. You, you diabetic. Right. It, like, it definitely is. It's cool is. to go to the to get. I think I think right now I think a lot of people going to tap into getting like. Oh, family doctors. Listen, I don't so you, know if I'm ready for the water to just shoot. Listen, man, bro, take care of yourself. You have That's to get a colonoscopy. I am, I'm saying, but take care I of yourself. How much bullshit I, you got up in you, Gilly? You, okay, you got a lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit. All God. up to oh, the so top of your so, fucking oh, head. So, bullshit. So, 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 so you must have had more bullshit than me because you needed eight of the motherfuckers to get all the bullshit bro, out of you. How many colonoscopies have you had? Eight. You think I'm fucking the same number Kobe wore? You think I'm fucking joking? If that was the case, do you think I would have told him? I'm just saying that, that like, he just lying right first now. First of all, He's first lying. of all, first of all, I told to the nigga, hey, day, what's up, cuz? But y'all don't know me and April about to go get it. I said, damn, y'all just got one. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, I got it on my gram when y'all oh just came God, from getting I'm one. Hollering. From the, the third one. He's thinking about it. He's like no, in he his lying. head like. <laughs> He's, lying. He's like, all right. He's lying. Listen, cuz he like water There's nothing wrong with going to the doctors. You niggas never go to the Ladies, when's the last time that you talk to the nigga and you're like, what you doing, Bernard? And he like, oh, on my way to the doctor? You never hear that. These niggas don't go to the doctor. Okay. They're gross. You bitches don't go to the doctor's evil. That's, That's a me, fucking lie. The last time First of all, a, if a kitty cat has a cold, it coughs. That motherfucker don't go to the doctor. If it's rough. You have when to. When the last go. time you been to the doctor? Last time you had an AIDS test. Two. First of all, hold up. Okay. Now my AIDS shit is cool. I'm ducking COVID-19. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm worried about. And I put this pussy on a crap table many a night. But I'm straight. 
<laughs> what so type I'm, of crab? You, how you know you ain't never hit seven, though? How you know you ain't never hit seven, though? You threw that pussy on the crab table. That pussy hit seven. you in Vegas or Atlantic City. Raw sex is better. We got to go there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Raw sex is better. I said it. No, listen. Why we got to pretend? Oh, oh, Why we got to pretend? Oh, so. Condom sex is safer. Raw sex is funner. Ooh. No, somebody in this room lied. Ooh, so you Listen, just love you hitting Tootie with a with the strap on? Dude, hold on, me and Tootie been together for goddamn, goddamn. So what I that got to do with? Let it? me ask you a question though. What you mean? You Why you would I be in a, a, a shrizzy <laughs> for somebody I've been up, with for twenty? I caught this nigga up. You what rolled the, the fuck dice. You mean you rolled the dice? Where was you at, Atlantic City or Vegas? Listen. <laughs> so that let me know if you was. If Everybody has rolled the dice and went raw in a situation you probably shouldn't have. I'm saying I made it out. How many times did it? I went raw a couple times. No, a couple was two. How many times you did? How the fuck would I know how no, many no, times no, I went wrong? No, Come uh, on. Have you ever got burnt? Come on. How many times? Have time? you ever got burnt? Be straight up. I'm a real nigga. I got trick of motors. What? What happened? What I got trick? fucking trick. Come on. How did you know? How many you know times have you given trick out? How many times have you given trick out? No, no, because you know sometimes they say Any the women Any bitch don't... watching this that sits and sacks and act like you ain't never going a little something, you a lying whore. Mm. I got Damn, trick of motors, and these niggas carry BV. But tell them, but tell them what trick, trick, trick of motors. Trick of motors is STD. It's very low on the totem pole. It's petty. That's what you mean. So it's not a that felony. It's a misdemeanor. Exactly. So you fucking with petty exactly. dick that's niggas? That's so huh? smart. Herpes would definitely be a felony. A felony three. And so you just fucking with the PDNs? Right huh? That is one eight seven. It's a so, murder. So hold on. Boom. So you just fucking with the PDNs? This nigga with these fucking what's what's the PDN? <laughs> petty dick niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you had the misdemeanor. So you two niggas have never had an no. STD. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I burnt the toilet down before. I'm telling you, when I went to go piss, I had to grab. Uh! That joint was like. <sighs> so you had the G. Man, when we was young, that nigga had crabs. No, <laughs> 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 you know, like I never had crabs. Yes, you did, bitch. I never had no you fucking had scratchy. You had the itchy scratchy. I ain't no scratchy. Bitch, you gonna say it like? Bitch, you gonna say it like? Bitch, I ain't had no scratchy. Bitch, you gonna say it like? You ever had STD? I had the yeah, cook sausage. He was burning. He was burning. I had the cook sausage. He burned Ain't no way you never got. Come on, man. Y'all be. Listen, he had the itchy scratchies. I respect that we can be real. No, you had the itchy scratchies. I never had crabs. Don't do that. Crabs is a misdemeanor, though. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. He was tinkering. He was ripping the crabs. Don't do that. 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 Come on. Yo, he, he, all right. I ain't you, never had crabs. So I never had crabs. Come on. Did y'all know who gave listen. it? Could y'all even narrow it down? Or were you so touch whores you couldn't even figure it out? No, no I, know I knew who burnt me. cooked me. I knew I who burnt, cooked me. I called Sassy up Cassie your funky bitch. <laughs> Did you? He's a funky bitch. No, Sassy Cassie, neighborhood. Your funky bitch. She him. said you gave it to me. I nigga. said, you're lying, bitch. Yeah, that's the nigga favorite line. You gave it to me. No, bitch, you gave it to me. Was you having sex with Raw at the time? No, was it? First of all, you know me, cuz. I would never know nigga to just strike like. Get the fuck out of here. So you always, you the, never went raw with nobody. I didn't see that. Come he on like, now. You went raw. Here. At a point, you went raw with Tootie when you wasn't supposed to. I didn't no, see that. He was that. out here the shooting the club up. He was out. Before you and Stop Tootie made it a dub. Stop on my dick. Like, you know what my dick been through. I know what your dick been through. I followed your career. I followed your career. You burned somebody before. You burned somebody. You gave bitch a crab. He was lying. I never had the crab. You gave Shani the crab. She knew you gave Shani the crab. I know he had crabs because he keep it ball. Oh, my God. You keep it ball. You ain't had crabs because you keep it ball while You ain't get Shani the crab. You keep it ball while You ain't get Shani them crabs. I don't know who the Damn, fuck that is. Damn, shout out to Shani. I don't know he lying. With the crabs you know from North Philly. I never gave him no I bet crabs. you Shani come on him. my gram and be like, yes, Wallo did it. I'm a to post I gave it. somebody Shani, the crabs. Shani, DM Gilly on, today bro. with come your on, results. Bro. Why are you going to do that? You ain't get a bitch a, a, dozen, a, a, dozen, a, a pound of Dungeonese. <laughs> a, <laughs> a pound of Dungeonese. I'm you crying. You didn't get a bitch listen, a pound of Dungeonese. You lying on me. But listen, you was running around raw dogging up. He so Gil, back you sense. never went wrong. You a fucking rapper popping in the city. First of all, first of all, me going wrong everything. and you letting niggas go wrong is your worst. That's ridiculous. That's yes, ridiculous. it is. First of all, we ain't right, gonna talk about right, body count. Okay, okay, hold on. Wait. Y'all can't even count your hold, body. Hold on. What's wrong? This nigga only had six bitches in his own life. <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen. 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 I'm not going to comment on that. That's just hate. If a Listen. nigga only has six bodies, it doesn't make you a loser, Bruce. Yes, it it does. doesn't make you a loser, Bruce. It makes you selective <laughs> with your penis. It means you love yourself. That's no. self-care. No. I like that. That's Get self-care. Get the fuck huh? out of here. I like what you're saying. That's Get nice. Do not make somebody that, like that and feel you feel bad. The this means a rapper. The niggas that love their penises is losers. Oh, okay, my God. Okay, let me tell you why. Really? Because every... <laughs> so you want somebody to go out there and play Russian roulette? No, no, no. Rest the no, club no, or play Russian roulette? Let me, tell, let me tell you something. Let me
at at one point in time, every man hits that 16, 17, 18, 19. You want to count with me? No. 20, 21. What, is, what do you mean? 22, 23. Now this nigga's counting. 24, 25. I'm still counting. During those years in your life, don't too much shit mean nothing other than getting some money and some pussy. I wasn't fucking at 16. Let's I'm keep saying. it real. Nothing. Let's keep it real. So, and the only niggas who be like, no, I don't really be on that. I'm just trying to get my money. It's the niggas that can't get no pussy. Wow, Gil. Let me the, ask you a question, though. The only young niggas that I've ever saw that be on some. I don't even really be on that, man. I just I just get my money. They all be niggas that can't get no pussy. Because young niggas, they live their life to get some pussy. I, you, how the fuck is sure, you going to tell me? Pussy, no, how the fuck are you going to tell me what young niggas do? It was easy for me. You got a dick? I know niggas. Okay, I know what young niggas do. <laughs> and at one point in time, the only fucking thing you give a fuck about well, is getting pussy. some money and some pussy. And sometimes, I agree with that, and but sometimes, I don't think that you sometimes it don't even be getting some fucking money. It just be getting some fucking pussy and smoking some fucking weed. All right? Because understand this. <laughs> the fuck? Understand this. Ass nigga. This is crazy. Understand this. Pussy got all the value. A dick ain't got no value out here. Pussy rule the world, girl. A dick ain't got Break no. A Break dick ain't got no down. value. Break the game down on that. You sitting on a pot of gold. Girl. A dick ain't got no value. You never. In, what? What nigga? What? Okay, prime example. What guy ever been like? He fucks all the bitches. He's a whore. He's such a whore. He fucks all the bitches. You ever heard a nigga say that? I never. don't know, but I say it. Never. A lot of y'all. I old. didn't say a woman. I've never heard. I didn't say, say it. a woman. I said a nigga. But you hear other women say you know, all the time. She fuck anybody. She's a fucking whore. What is a whore though, y'all? She's Seriously. such a. She's such What's a, a whore? fucking whore. A woman that don't got no respect for hold her hold vagina. How many, how well, I have bodies? a question for you. How many bodies is if a, whore? a woman? I don't. I don't. I can't do that. It's body count. I'm asking you for sure. Right. If a woman is independent. Doing well at whatever she does, right? Yeah. So that's car, house, whatever Everything. she want to do, right? right? But when she get horny, she fuck. And if she don't like it, she ain't going to fuck you again, which means she's going to get horny and fuck somebody else. She might fuck four niggas a week. She's a whore. Wow. The fuck are you talking about? She's an ultra whore with some money. Wow. That's all. Wow. Why? But now, okay, reverse. Okay. If it's a man, he's doing well for himself. Right? He's he's labeled Fuck a player. Fuck that. He ain't doing well for himself, but he it rent a room in it, North Philly somewhere and he got nice sneakers, okay? And sometimes <laughs> he flip the nice back right. Cuz I mean for real, let's get all the way there. When and nice he sneakers. hits a bitch every day he hit a different bitch 7 days a week. Is he a whore? Yes. He is. I don't know. I lost my virginity at 18. In a woman's eyes. In a man's eyes, a nigga like no, that nigga play me. That nigga them bitches. I can't even lie. When they see you, he's a player. I don't have a problem no, dropping okay. my body. Let me count. just say this. Oh, what's your when problem? A he man, might say whore. Let me just say this. When a man, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna. Let you when a man get a lot of girls, gonna be the fight episode. When a man get a lot of girls, he's considered a player. A player, yeah. and even more bitches want him because of that. That's a fact. Right. When a woman get a lot of dicks, she's not considered a player. She's considered a whore. So even from her own peers, true. You got girls that fuck with they. They got girlfriends. They be like, bitch. That you know, she's a whore. I love that bitch. She's a fucking whore. That's just my girl. Right. I love that bitch. But that bitch, she shoves dicks in her mouth like a hot dog eating contest. You hear me? I don't know why the bitch don't go up for the hot doggy. She would fucking win. That bitch would throw <laughs> seventy nine dicks in her mouth. Fuck a hot dog. She throw seventy nine <laughs> dicks in her mouth and win it's in thirty fair. seconds. So at the end of the day. It's different out here. I mean, it's definitely a double standard, but I will say just me. You try to take up, it for the horse because what you do, which, how many bodies you got? 111. Honestly, huh? honestly. 68. It's between 13 and 14. Oh, okay. Is See. that bad? In your opinion. How the fuck is that? How you have 13 and a half dicks? It's not 13, 14. It's like, do you, like, like if a nigga die, do we count? Damn. That's where I'm at with it. Damn, you, you, how many niggas If you, you check you die? off the list. How many, how many dicks you fucked that die? He said like one. She said one, right? No. Two. 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 Two.
two dicks. That so you canceling the two dicks? I'm in between canceling the one. Like I'm like 50-50, 13, you 14. Keep, why you want to keep one and don't cancel the other one? Because that one was a real nigga. He died a real nigga. So you just gonna keep, but you, but if you gonna count, drop my man off, you gotta drop him off too. This is what I want to. This is what I want to say. I want America to know. I don't want to be the kind of woman that calls a woman a whore just because she has sex when she's horny. Like it's twenty twenty. She's horny. She oh, pays so her own now, bills. Okay, Why okay. can't she fuck? Okay, so now even you want, though I didn't choose to live that way. That's like saying. But I didn't fuck the few. I don't. I don't want a professional boxer to call himself a boxer anymore. Just because <laughs> in the I will say this. I'm gonna say this though. You agree with him? You no, think you're no, a whore if you fuck? Okay, okay I, I want to know. Please this. tell me. You, you're a woman, right? Mm. You meet a man today. Yes. You grew up. You was in your teenage year. You was in your in your twenties, whatever. Every man you meet, they're giving you a different experience. True. Some of them can make you more bitter and. You can take it out next dude. But some of them could be educating you. This dude put you down with travel. This dude put you down with how to be domestic. This dude put you down with how to operate in the bedroom. So Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike, they had you. Now when Raheem meets you, your experience, and you going, he's going to benefit off of everything you went through with them. Am I right about that? Yes, for sure. Yeah. So a lot of times dudes look at it like, oh, man, she's this, she's that, she's that. You better be thankful that she got the experience that she with all that shit she that experience that she got from dealing with these different these type different dudes. You're gonna benefit off the day. You know what I mean? Because you know a lot of women. Would you put wife a whore? You meet a but, woman, you like what her. What is a whore? She got every, okay. she got everything you think you want, but she has a jacket. She has a record of who fucking. don't got a jacket. She went through who don't a got phase. A jacket, though? She went. She might have had a whole phase that stretched seven years. No biggie. And she's fucked a lot of niggas. Do you wife her even though you're in love with her and she's everything but, but, you're let, looking let for? Let me explain something to you. It's a Number yes one. or no, sir. Let, yes. Let All me explain right. something to you. Who don't got a jacket? What woman is going to tell you that she got a jacket? When she got a, she's going to be like, no, I ain't got no jacket. You got to buy me one. What woman going to tell you to think about that? What woman going to, how many women that you know going to be true and say, yeah, I didn't, uh, I've been running around I've been running around Hori. Hori, like they was a Hori. Who gonna tell you that? I don't know. I know nobody. Some, I don't know. So I know some honest. No, 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 no. I know no, some honest. Unless they, no, no, unless they, you can't out. Hold on. Let me let me let me wait. 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 You know what I mean? Wait. Hold on. No, whores expose themselves. Yeah, like what you talk about? Just like just like bullshit niggas expose themselves to women, and women see all the signs, and they still hold on to the bullshit nigga. But back to you said you said bitch fuck Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike, and now you get with her, and you got the nigga that was four niggas. I might be the manager though. No, hold on, hold on. That that was four niggas. Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. Oh yeah, they. She fucked Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. That's cool. She fucked. Okay, you no. The bitch (laughs) fucked the whole Eagles locker room. That's fifty three oh, dicks. Dang. Ain't no, I don't want no bitch who got experience from fifty three dicks. Let me explain oh, something I slapped fifty three dicks let me off my something head. To you. I'm experienced. Let me explain something to you. Fuck you, I bitch. I think he's biased because if I'm telling you why he's biased. If that was a fucking Eagles Super Bowl team, he's not going to say that. The His whole approach going to be different because he, <laughs> he went crazy. He cried when the fucking Eagles win. So yeah, you fuck you fuck the team, oh, yeah. but it was a Super Bowl team. I'm gonna give you a pass. <laughs> You get in the past, because that's my team. I cried when they won. Yes, I he did. I had that lock- video on my he, phone. That's the classic. Be like, Bitch, video. you be in the locker room. You be- I can get you in the locker room, too. All right, I'm going to give you a pass. Because, you know, he's a vicious Eagles fan. He cried, and not only did he, he cry, cried. he said, and I he quote, cried. you can lick, you can kiss my ass with your tongue out, bitch. Yeah. Kiss my ass with your tongue out, bitch. That was spicy. Yeah. That, that, was, was, that was legendary. That was a, that was a great time to be alive. Uh, that was. Shout out yeah. to the fucking Eagles. He went down there. When the Eagles float was coming through, that he shit was major. I'm like. Gilly man, said he would cry. Me, he man. did. Won, man. This is that game. was they won. Shit, he he mad at me because I ain't all happy. I'm like, yo, man, you getting real touchy Philly. He hugging everybody. He like, wasn't hey. emotional. That was he the most was emotional moment I think I've ever seen. First of all, he don't watch sports. I do watch sports. Don't watch the, sports. I don't watch football. I still got tears. I do I watch sports. And the Eagles. It's the Eagles. Listen, What's I watched, the Eagles we quarterback? deserved it. Huh? Who the Eagles quarterback? It's between Big it's between Dick Nick. Folk. It's between Nick Foltz. Big I mean, Dick Nick. Nick Foltz. Big I mean, I mean, Dick Nick. Nick Foltz. See? Big I mean, Dick Nick. I got that see? right over you. Yeah. See? Nick, Nick, his name Nick, 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 uh, some shit. Nick listen, Foley. Rodney, uh, Randall Cunningham. Rodney, Rodney Pete, some shit. Randall Cunningham. See, the whole he don't watch fucking sports. The he whole don't even know who this. the Eagles fucking. I watch sports when they fucking win. I was we won, that, baby. I was there. Yeah. I Kiss my ass with your tongue out. out. <laughs> oh, they won. I'm going out there and hold some dicks. Yes. Don't even know who you like, cheering for. It was a wonderful like, time hey, to be alive. I like sports teams hey, that win. I could have been I lying. I could have been lying to him. What are you trying to say, Wallow? I could have been lying to him. We won. Uh, he's a nut ass nigga. I could have been down there lying to him. Yeah, that's such and such, such and such. Who that? That's the running back for the Eagles. 
Ryan! Yeah, y'all do. Let's go! She got a nigga looking at you like this. Ain't no, no fucking Ryan. Back to the whole dickhead. conversation. Men wife whores at the end of the day. And ladies, don't think that if you out here hoeing nobody a wife, you niggas love wife and whores. A lot of their friends have wife whores. Oh, you speaking from experience? And they know it. Do one night experience. Do do a lot of one night, one I'm night, one asking. night, I'm one night stands. Do one night stands. Listen, let me ask you from all your girlfriends. How many girlfriends? My neck almost popped. How many girlfriends have fucking gilly up? How many girlfriends have one night stands? As you know that, and it wound up turning to a relationship. Honestly, I have a close friend that fucked her boyfriend the first night, and they were together for years. Mm. I have never had a one night stand. Mm. I aspire to have one. Mm. I regret a lot of not. I feel like because of people like him, I didn't make certain decisions sexually because I didn't want to be called a whore. Now I'm in my early 30s. Oh. I regret not popping his pussy more in my 20s. Girl, fuck him today. Okay. Don't think about okay. that. Shit. Okay, so let me fuck ask you that. a question. And let me tell you something else. It's a lie. <laughs> they say the pussy will get loose from dicks. It won't. Child, that coochie stay tight. You got that from your mother. Do your kegels. Get that dick. Wear a condom. Get a check, too. Hey, <laughs> they, don't, they don't give a fuck at the end, child. Dude, fuck, fuck. If I can do it all over, I would be fucking. I, I, ain't, no, I ain't trying to hear that shit. You it's gonna go ahead and think like that. I ain't. I don't know too many mamas across America who who raise their daughters and they like, listen, just go to school, get a job, be successful. And girl, fuck. <laughs> you hear me? I ain't fuck. talking to my daughters. Girl, if you want to suck a dick, suck them dicks. <laughs> just go out there and suck. You know what? When you Shut on up. campus, you suck as many <laughs> dicks as you can. Shut up. You hear me? That's not you, what I'm saying to my sweet, me? beautiful baby Matter girl. Matter of fact, bitch, we sending you to GBU, Goofy Bitch University. You got a fully paid scholarship. Oh, matter of fact, guess where is that? Orlando, Florida, you fucking whore. What are you talking about? I who's was too telling concerned they concerned with not being a whore. That's what I'm saying. Who's Ladies telling their daughters 20s. that? Fuck them today. Think about it. Tomorrow. Who's telling their daughters that? No, I'm not telling my I'm not daughter, to, my daughter. To, to go and fuck. Okay, so why would you tell some grown ass women to do I'm that? Telling, I'm telling you. Be a whore like 20, today. 20, be all you could be. Join the army of whores. Get fucked no. today. It's quarantine. Fuck well, it. Well, well, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's get into our next sponsor. Man. <laughs> Let me get into the next sponsor, man. Simply Safe. Like, like, you know, they talking about wrapping up. That's a whole other thing or going raw. But listen, one thing about me, I'm going to use protection. That's why I'm going to use Simply Safe 24 hours. So I'm talking about protection, surveillance. You ain't got to worry about nobody breaking it. It's 50 cent a day. That's what I like about Simply Safe. It's 50 cent a day. Oh. Not only are we fans of Simply Safe, we use it. U.S. News and World Report named Simply Safe the best overall home security in 2020. You get free shipping. You get 60 day mm -hmm. trial. I'm talking about 60 day risk free. I'm mm -hmm. talking about whatever you don't. Okay, I don't want to. Uh, but listen, once again, it's 50 cent a day. Mm. But it's 60 day risk free when you go to simplysafecom slash game simplysafecom slash game but just you know i mean you don't have to pay any outrageous monthly fees or sign up to a two-year i'm telling you you can set it up yourself i'm talking about easy setup the setup is easy it's so easy you get it boom, 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 set it all up do everything yourself man and just think about this 50 cent a day to put some protection on your family F listen listen 50 cent a day we all talk about we love our family let's show our family how much we really love them make sure they secure not just make sure we're protecting them not just when they awake and we're with us and uh, we protecting them when they're sleeping we're not in the rooms with them or whatever it might goes down once again simplysafe.com backslash game make sure you use that game code so you get that free shipping and 60 day risk free it's an easy setup once again 50 cent a day simply safe simply safe listen Let's talk about knowing your strengths and your weaknesses. See, one thing about me is like this. It's funny you say that. Uh, wow, well, what the fascism. fuck? One thing about damn. me. No, it's funny you say that. I'm always listening, real. The thing is, you got to know your strengths <laughs> and you got to respect your weaknesses. You got to know your strengths and you got to surround yourself with your weaknesses. You got to know your strengths. And if you got the money, you got to hire your weaknesses. I just believe like Ooh. a lot of us, we do different things. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, me and Gil, we don't, we don't do camera. We don't do camera. Right? B-Rock do. So that's the, you know, that's a weakness. You don't do camera work? Yeah, camera work. Okay, okay. B-Rock do. So, you know, and like, even in life, you got to know what you're good at doing. You got to acknowledge what you're not. Because right. sometimes we'll be sitting there trying to do everything and we won't do shit. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, I'm doing anything. Oh, I'm making it happen. I'm, I'm moving. I'm, I'm shaking and baking. Right. You ain't even cut the fucking oven on yet. So what you shaking bacon? You ain't do shit. Right. Like a lot of us don't do shit because we be trying to do everything and we don't know how to let people do what they good at doing for us. I remember when I was in jail, like I always tell people, man, when I was in jail, this dude might send me letters. This dude might send me pictures. He might send me money. She might come visit me. People, I let them do what they was good at doing. I right. wasn't going to tell the person, oh, me yeah. Too. No, no, no. And I wasn't trying to be everything. I was like, listen, man, whoever going to show me love and going to help me in that. And I learned that. So I, when I got home, 
I don't know how to do graphics. You know what I mean? I got people like Dev Cameron, Nick Rich, uh, Danny the Designer, uh, Rep Star. I got different people that do shit. Phil Myers. I got different people that do shit for me in that department. I don't know how to shoot photography. I got Phil Myers for that. So my thing is like a lot of times we don't know how to say, you know what? What is my weakness? I'm, I like to highlight that shit. Right. I highlight what I can't do so I can find the people that can do that. So that's just like in life. Like what is you, you know what I mean? You got to find, sometimes you got to find somebody even in life as your partner that got that bring a strength that's a weakness to you. Right. So y'all could be able I to agree you know what I mean that, that balance. So you gotta know your strengths, respect your weaknesses, know your strengths, surround yourself with your weaknesses, know your strengths and hire your weaknesses if you got the money to do so. Mm. And I'm I just think you need to take them take that game and hold on to that. And I think that'll help you out during your journey through life. I think that some people's weaknesses is they hang with the wrong motherfuckers. Yes. They don't surround themselves. You got to get the, the right fuck people. away from your weaknesses. Right? Sometimes you got to get the fuck away from your weaknesses. You can't be the smartest person in the room. Yeah. I learned that the hard way. You can't and, be the smartest. You don't want to be. And at the end of the day, is an old saying, if you hang with seven goofy motherfuckers, you're going to be the eighth. The eighth, yeah. You feel me? So that's a major part of a lot of niggas' weaknesses, that they, so, they be so afraid to let shit go. They, they be afraid to understand that, yeah, you my friend, you my homie, but I got to love you from a distance. Yeah. Well, we know when to do that. We ain't, got that. we ain't got the same goals and aspirations, man. Matter of fact, when I come around on you, you always mad. You always down. Mm -hmm. You always, you just, you an energy drainer. Oh, that was motherfuckers. Like, you just, like, you just a fucking energy drainer. You ever notice, you ever notice, right? It could be me and white girl, right? We have we in here, we chilling, we busting it up, we having a great time, everything's all love. Wallow coming with an attitude, and it changed the whole, the whole mood room, in the room. Yeah. The vibe. You feel what I'm saying? Good. Right. So now we so looking at him and his face and, and damn, what's, what's wrong, what's dog? That we wrong? not even on the same vibe that we was on because he just came in here and just drank all the energy we had from being positive to some negative shit. So sometimes you just got to get away from the wrong niggas, man, and get a, with some people who can help you be greater at what you trying to do. Right. Motherfuckers that had six niggas hang with them and they don't bring nothing to the table. They just hang around and roll up weed. They just it's roll like, up. You the yeah. artist. You you hang with all these niggas. Ain't none of them trying to be a marketing nigga. Ain't none of them trying to pick a camera up, learn how to security. take pictures. Ain't none of them trying to play security. Ain't none of them trying to, trying to uh, your shit come out. Don't none of them put you up on the Instagram as your avi and promote it. Like, right. it's just, why is these niggas around you? All you got to do is pay attention. You could kind of pay attention. When I first got into this shit, this, Go ahead. when I first got into this entertainment shit, I paid attention to that. People that I was close with like this never came to a show, never reposted a video. And it's like, I don't think you should expect it from people, but I definitely think you should pay attention when you don't get support, especially if you know how you were. Any of my niggas, you start rapping, I'm at the show. You know what I mean? You start rapping, I'm listening to the tape. Even when you suck, because most of y'all suck. Mean, most so? of your mixtapes are ass. Most of the mixtapes are in my DM. I'm so glad I get to tell you. They're ass. I'm not going to play it for him because I don't even like it. So. But they they're ass. They're te oh, your mixtapes are terrible. The artwork, the cover work, the intro, your ad libs, like the sound. It's like Damn, a weird little. Thicky, like thicky, thicky. I'm a rap fan. And that's as a girl, that's the worst. You meet a nigga, he like, oh, I rap. He throw his joint, he throw his shit on the aux. You like, you fuck the whole thing up. Like, Put Uzi back on. Like, what are you doing? And he sucks. And there was this awkward moment when he turned it down because he wants to know what you think. And you think it's trash. What you say, though? That's all right. I like the beat. Ooh. I'm one of them. Like, I'm going to let you know that something ain't right. I'm like, I really like the way when you first started, you was like, uh, uh, uh. that's the part I like. <laughs> like you <laughs> fucking suck. Nigga like, ah. um, back to that, okay, though. So what say, why, why women don't keep it real and tell they, tell they, tell they boyfriends and they baby fathers and they niggas? And their cousins right. and their brothers and their yeah. god brothers. I don't know. And I, and I struggle with that myself. So I feel like if you're watching this, yes, I'm talking about you. I hate your music. And I don't, I feel like, 
Damn. We come from a musical city. Philadelphia is a very musical city. I feel like every grade I was ever in, every age, I knew somebody that was doing some type of music. But it's not for everybody. And it's a hard game to, like, succeed in. So Home Depot's hiring. Mm. Like, what would you say? Or the unions. Them? You could With a felony, you could be a plumber and make $80,000 a year. What mm. would you say? What would you say? Be a welder is what mm. I'm saying. So what would you say to the... Could you give the women some encouragement? They got the baby five or something that's um, rapping Leave on. him. You know what I mean? Oh, Take him whoa. to a job fair and leave him. And then we talk, we talk about my age. You talk about this nigga's 37. He's still writing composition books. It's over. <laughs> it's, a, it's a done No, deal. I don't think you can say that. Niggas can still pop off. Like If you want to believe what Wallow's saying. You can still fine. pop off. I think you can but pop off. baby girl. If your shit right, you can, you can pop off. me and you I'm talking, you. listen, it could happen. It could. It could. You could also... Meet a leprechaun one day. Either way, mm -hmm. let's just pay the bills. Home Depot is iron. So you trying to Bruce. say this shit only a young man's game? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Oh my god, I think I just made your face. I think I just did a. Yeah. Oh <laughs> damn, that's crazy. <laughs> um, what I'm saying is, is that if you trying and it's not working, then that's something that I would appreciate for you to make your hobby versus you putting our money and our savings into this shit that's not working out. Mm. Your mixtape so you have, suck. So Majority if you do, if you do rap right now, and he came in the crib about to doing his mixtape, playing it like rolling up, like you ain't gonna support him. Of course, I'm gonna support you. I'm gonna fucking play it and everything when I pull off, but I don't like it because it sucks, <laughs> so and it's you, hard to tell a nigga that. Why you can't tell? I have that? a lot of people that's in the music. I mean, how do y'all fucking tell <laughs> no, people? I don't. Listen, Every nigga I you listen. know that rap tell you about him rapping. It's been going on for twenty some years. Do you tell these niggas face to face? Oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I tell them niggas they whacking and all that. Dollar shit ain't for even you, family. Yes, that's why my some of my family members don't like me to this day. Don't <laughs> support me, nigga. What? I ain't supporting that shit. I don't think they put enough effort in it either. Right. I think it's because just they like, want the easy route because they're your family. It's like, dog, this shit ain't hot. This shit was hot. I'll post you the fuck up. I'll right. show you all the love in the world. I'll post niggas up. Effort, but you don't I'll post no niggas up in. that I don't know. Because I like they shit. So I would post you up if your shit was hot, but your shit ain't hot. And At I ain't all. got time to be fucking my brand up. I don't post niggas that I don't think is hot. I don't think it's no Nowhere age limit near. to music. I don't think it's no age limit to I don't to believe success. it's the age yeah. limit either, but if, if you, you hot, 40. You hot. If you hot, you hot. So Wallow, if you're 40 years old, you've been rapping since you was fucking 14, and we ain't been, no, not a single, okay? Not a SoundCloud bop, not a fucking thing. We gonna still Damn, push for this shit till fifty? No, we not. No, I'm you not pop up. Go put pop up mixtape yeah. in. Listen to pop up new mixtape. This volume, this volume seventy three. He been working on this since eighth grade. God Fuck damn. no. Ooh. I'm just saying, let that be your hobby, babe. That's a side thing now. It's over. It's but people, over. you got people that is making money off of like TuneCore and. Uh, Distro kid, they making they, people might they might bring a new mixtape out or something. The people Why the streaming. fuck they keep DMing me with the mixtape? Mm. I don't know. Niggas ain't making no money. To to the king. Let me ask y'all a question. What y'all doing? Right? This got to do with couples. You got to pick one of them. I don't know how if you know the fucking rules, but I'm telling you the rules <laughs> now, queen of the mile. You got to pick one. Is <laughs> you letting your woman go to a naked beach? with all her girlfriends, but two of her girlfriends is ultra whores, and it's, and it's college sports week that week at the beach, so it's gonna be a bunch of young Thundercats oh, running shit. around. You six about, packs. And, and, and listen, you, you gotta be- It's jock week. It's jock week at the train. Six and, and packs. You, and you gotta, everybody gotta be naked. It's going down. And, 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 and little Ken Dow things. Hey. Going down. So she's gonna be jock, women young jock like that. Yeah, so so two be running around around all these young niggas. Thundercats, pieces out. And this, two and, look and, young, <laughs> she gonna fit right in. Right. All right. Or you gotta let your woman, your woman gotta be Chris Brown and Trey Songs going on a tour, and your woman gotta be they both of their personal assistant. So she got to be on 24-hour call for whatever they need. They need their feet rubbed. Well, who? Chris Breezy? Yeah, Chris Brown. And, and Trigger. Trigger. Right. Trigger going to pull a trigger right on your right piece. <laughs> he going to pull the trigger on your, on your piece. No, we can't. No, you, no, no. no Chris no. Brown probably moonwalking to this pussy. Damn. See? see. Let's be honest. Yo, it's Chris uh, uh, Brown. Listen, if, you gotta, listen, if you got a dude and you they sisters, you going to get busy with Trigger and them. You going to let Trigger pull the trigger on you? Trigger! Trigger doesn't do it for me. Chris Brown, he could probably do some type of pop lock move into this pussy. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> or you gonna let your girl be the 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 oil girl at an all-male strip club. 
Well, bitch, she gets the stripper ready before the stage. Yeah, she get the strippers ready for so they come in, they walk in, they hold their hands up. Grease she the piece. All that she greased the piece, everything. Wowzers, this sucks. Like you got to pick one, and for you, you, you your nigga got to do that. So, so my nigga has. So to he be. oiled the bitches up. Cardi or, B. He Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. I would lose my nigga to Cardi B. My nigga got a thing for Cardi B. So what y'all doing? Damn, that's a hard job. New Beach. New Beach. I'm going to say triggering them because you know why? What? They, they, listen, this is why. This is, singing this, niggas? This, 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 gorgeous, <laughs> two gorgeous singing niggas. Nigga had, eight, nigga had April all in there playing the piano. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no way you're not going to fuck Chris Brown. He be, he, After she be, rubbing his hey, feet. He be rolling there, fucking it up. Ooh, April, listen, listen, April, listen. April. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't oh, gonna say that. He done ooh, gave you OT ooh, and double on the check. I'm they, fucking Chris they, Brown. I ain't going to say no names. I'm going to wash his dishes. Me and Gil. Me and Gil. Your Big woman looking all in nigga eyes like this. He in there <laughs> killing it. Ooh, yeah. Slide the panties off. Like, Chris Brown, this if you're watching this and you're hiring, you know, I am she, available. She, she 35, but she 36. She grew up on, he been in. Lately I've had the strength. He hit the bar, the high Oh, shit. You all on FaceTime, blue, blue, blue. She like this. Clear. <laughs> Mind you, he didn't already pay paid her for the year. I'll just pay you for the year, babe. They all, hey, they all. She's in the letting lobby. him fuck. They all the, listen, they all in the You're lobby. They all in the lobby at the four season. Trigger singing that she playing the piano, singing that shit to you. All in the lobby at the four season. She sitting right there. They got drinks there. No, toots never going on there. I know how savage. I feel like your number one celebrity no, crush. You should be allowed to listen, fuck no them. Listen, no bullshit. Not say no names, but you remember we was in New York and somebody pulled they pulled their coat. They said, "Listen, don't never post your bra." This nigga, that nigga Chris Brown, is sliding the DM like Ricky Henderson when he played for the, the Oakland Athletics. He said that nigga there, he's a. We ain't gonna, go, we ain't gonna say what we ain't gonna say. He said, "Don't you do girl, it." Don't your do girl it. cheats on you with her celebrity crush. I think she should get a pass. Your number one, you should number one celebrity because your number one lady you want, you would want out, out of everybody. I think it's I Rihanna. Think, you should be able to fuck her if no, she calls I think, you. Oh, I think, I think, I'm let, shit, I think, I think, I think, yeah, I'm letting two go to the naked <laughs> beach with the, the young phone? niggas, man. She face time and I'm thinking singing. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> like that. If Cardi B slid in my nigga <laughs> DM, I would allow him to fuck her. This Cardi B really likes her. Y'all ridiculous. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think I think uh, I'm 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 letting two go to the new beach with the young Thundercats. I ain't really, I ain't really, cause she can't be wiping the niggas piece down. You can't put your hands on another. Just a slight piece. oil. Yeah. It's work that though. That it's work. Yeah, that She's ain't, a professional. That ain't doing it. And she definitely not going with Trey Songs and Chris Brown on no fucking tour to be their personal sister oh, so they can take imagine? advantage and be calling up to the Chris room. Chris Brown, for if nothing. you're hiring, please DM Gilly. Yeah, I mean. They be making up shit too. We need you and Chris needs you up in the room right now. He's <laughs> he's having back pain. She go up there Chris and they got a Versace robe on with no drawers and some Versace flip flops. Chris says, please only no. wear booty shorts, please. No, uh uh. You know, you know how fuck No hey, pants listen. in Chris house. Let me ask y'all the question, right? What's the top five cities to party in? Miami, Atlanta. Um Houston. Really? You wouldn't even know. Shut up. No, man. no, hold on. My homie, listen. He gonna say D block. D block. No, shit, they be homie. partying over there. Give me right? East Coast City, Gilly. D block. No, no, no. What you wanna D say? New Washington, D.C. 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 No, I give it to D.C. My man said, motherfucking, when I was in jail with, I used to walk in my man said, Billy, right? so sad. He said, Minneapolis be fucking jumping. I Listen, I mean, I'm gonna get the fuck out Minneapolis where Prince from? Yeah, nigga, fucking Prince was from there. You know it's John. Wallow, Wallow, it's nobody cold. ever goes to Minneapolis Wallow, to party. it's colder than a hooker's heart in, in Minnesota, fuck? man. It be cold in Philly. In the, the nigga that yeah, do the yeah, show in Minneapolis don't no party, party after city. the show. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, Philly, all the Philly clubs should be named Club Shoot 'em Up. Yeah, that's it. They should just have, uh, what's it called? Brent, what's it called when you... When you get a bunch of them, franchises, yeah. club shoot 'em ups in South Philly, club yeah. shoot 'em ups. Don't in come West to Philly, Philly to party. Don't come to come Philly, to Philly to party. Get robbed. You die. You will fucking die out here. Like dog. it's pretty fun, but you might get robbed again. Like, for real, I, cool I say the top five cool. party cities is definitely Miami, Miami. and Atlanta. You got to say New York. right? You got to say Houston. Where New York at? DC. You ain't see L.A. and D.C. 
DC is better than oh, New York. Oh, no, give me the five again. LA D- party scene is different, you though, right? DC is better. No, yeah. DC better than New York. They dropped the fucking ball on New Year's fucking day in New York. I, I have never really had that. fun in New York clubs. I don't I mean either. What the yeah, fuck they're is not fun. Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all, number one, New York niggas is, they too tough. Number one. So it ain't no party, and you more you more like this on that motherfucker. They lean back. Word the mother, son. <laughs> Dead ass. You you on point. You like you go to Miami. You in there. You find yourself doing shit you don't never do. Hey, hey, hey. It's more free. Hey, at the beach. Hey, hey, hey. You in there partying in New York. You like this. The fuck is them niggas over there looking at man? <laughs> yeah. Fuck is these niggas staring at like this man? Why the fuck is these niggas staying? Ain't nobody partying. Everybody just staying around. They might do a little one, two, but it's like everybody in there casing out everybody for who gonna Shout out to the niggas that come to the club and do that. It's, like, you're weird. You're weird. <laughs> what you say? Like, shout out to the niggas that come to the How club do to do that. How do women just come in the club and just post up on some, like, cool or tough shit? I don't, I don't know. I, 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 You know, I like I like the party, so I appreciate a nigga that get a little sweaty, get a little dancey. Because they used to call it get a little active. hot feet back in the day. You know, right? <laughs> He's like right in the door. Wallow, you give me you give me vibes that you let it all loose on no, the no, dance floor. No, 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 no. He was DM. DM. He was DM. DM. Really, they, really, as a young boy, I'm they called him no DM. I'm not on no shit. You give me robot on the dance floor right now. Listen. No, not no, robot. No, listen. Let you let give you me worm. No, no, worm. no, listen. Listen. As a young boy, they called this nigga DM. <laughs> That's real talk. Way before it's going down in the DM, all that shit. Dancing machine. We would go to dances. You got to understand. Wallow would be called dances. You Wallow would be like this. You know, so damn tough. Rock on. Bim, 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 bim. He do this joint for the North Philly. Hit it, Wallow. Okay, bim, 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 the E-Matic. Okay. Find a song, get a party That's along wild. to the party. Yeah. But listen, yeah, these and a bitch will back her ass up on him. This nigga do that shit. You'll look up. You'll be talking. You'll look up. Eight songs to go by. That nigga still over there doing the same thing. Is dance. E-Matic North Philly? Yeah, yeah you yes. know E-Matic. Shout out to North Philly. Yeah, yeah look, North Philly, nigga. You know what the fuck's going on. Nigga never changed his dance. Shout out to North. Nut ass nigga never changed his dance. He just do the same shit. Shout out to the E-Matic. Y'all know what the E-Matic is. That's the E-Matic. Y'all want to show the people the E-Matic? Nigga over there hard from grinding on a bitch. He hard in Russian Jeopardy. Look at him. Nigga been grinding on a bitch for two hours. (laughs) Ain't got, he ain't said one word. Listen, sweating like Harriet Tubman trying to get the fuck out the Shout out to Wallow with the Wally. Wallies. Wally Wallow. Oh, Sheila, hit it, Wallow. Let me oh, that, love oh, that you was through the shit morning too. come. Go, Sheila, go, Sheila. I know but, you want to free me. But then, listen, listen. Some cool shit. But then, no, because this, this the whole twist. Get a girlfriend. He had danced and with you the bitch. And you the one that's mean no, in the listen. club. He had yeah, danced with the bitch. No, no he would dance with the bitch for two hours, and then I'd fuck her. He'd warm up. But my little cousin going to warm you up. I always set it off. I would set the situations off He over there like this. My little cousin going to warm you up, then I'm going to fuck the brakes off in the club. fuck. Foul. This shit is like. Wallow was my warmer. He was my bitch warmer. Yeah, this dude. He warmed my bitch up. He done ate a couple pussies for me and they didn't go in and then my little no, cousin. Wallow. He, he lying. No, you've yes, never done this. that. I remember yes, the, the one time I was, I was shot. Can we go back to the eating the pussy no, first? Yes, yes, can I say this? Can I say this? Yes, did, did that happen? Yes, Let me explain something to you. Yes, you Please explain. Talk. Listen. The pussy one time, eating. One time, anybody from down Allegheny, they know, they know Sassy Damn, Cassie, Cassie, right? So we go get Sassy Cassie, right? So I go upstairs, use the bathroom. We in nanny house. We in the basement. I come downstairs. <laughs> this nigga butt naked with his socks off, eating a pussy. He had a she had her legs was helicopter. And sassy right, Cassie listen, is he, a he, prostitute. Yeah, he, he was a prostitute. Yeah, you know I mean, he was. He, listen, he but was warming up. But did you ever eat a no, bitch pussy was. and didn't get a chance to fuck? And no, he no, fucked no. Her. He yes. was he warmed That's up. That's enough to, gro- to yes. kill a nigga. About. No, he warmed yes. up. You can't he let a nigga live bitch. to tell that tale. First of all, he's like, telling it. First of all, he was a fluffer. He was he was a fluffer. First of all, let me just tell you something. Anybody that knew me, he's a liar. Anybody that know me since a young nigga, no. Gil always got those bitches. It's, it's niggas out here, they can say whatever they want he, about he hype me. On himself. You know I got them bitches. I introduce you to a whole he, different kind delusional. of bitch. He's delusional. What kind of bitches you introduce no, me to? I ain't Only get... thing he introduced me to was snow bunnies. Listen, we go to his college. You like bunnies, Gil? He was a bunny I used warrior. To fuck with them all. Fuck I go to about? the college, right? Cabrini College. Hold on. Some D college. It's like a wait. fucking Z League college. Hold on. Wait. Hey, I go there Hold and he playing basketball for he's on. a basketball star. Spanish girl. <laughs> no, listen. No, Spanish Cabrini, girl. Cabrini, 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 Cabrini Is that ICDC? He's a, ba- he's a basketball star at a college that nobody no fucking know about. I thought it was a Catholic <laughs> school college. Like when I said Catholic school, I thought it was still like a high school. 
slash acting like a college. Okay. Okay. I go up there. This shit's small. This shit is like three. It's like three floors. That's it. That's the whole fucking college. <laughs> three floors in the library. I go to the fucking college. He in there. Three he, floors listen, in the library. He got a bunch of, listen, he got a bunch of snow pieces. Hey, Gilly. Hey. I go in there. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, wow. What's going on? I'm thinking he went to. Like, he told me, yeah, we're going to go to my college. I'm thinking he went to like St. Joe's or motherfucking. Uh, what's the. Uh, Dr- Vill- Villanova. I'm like, damn. We, I always wanted Villanova. That's like <laughs> right. a big joint. We go out. Because <laughs> he said it's out in the county. I'm like, damn, what's the name? Is? The so I go here, right? We walk in the joint, right? I go here, we walk in the joint. He go this nut. He on some bullshit. He playing games. Oh yeah, man. I'm I go ahead. Man, it was snowing. It was fucking snowing in that joint, man. That's how many white it was women. Some, it was snowing in, it was it was snowing in the summer. These nice body white women are square up and down. No, it was different. That was different back then. Everybody ain't had no bodies. That's before. Never understood you, you niggas' fixations on bunnies. Listen, we talk about that another episode. Listen, but that's another episode. But listen, man, before we go any further, man, we want to get into another one of our sponsors, man. Oh, uh, hold on. Let's get into. Uh, there's another one of our sponsors. This is the shit. <clears throat> this, 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 this episode of Me and I's Worth a Game is brought to you by Owen Craft Mixers. Y'all see this? Look, if you want to make any type of cocktail at home, this is what you want to use. It's simple. I know people don't know how to make cocktails, but people love them. And if you want to make one, all you got to do is get these mixers, any type of vodka that you want, and you add them in, and it's beautiful, man. It's all different types of flavors. You got ginger beer plus lime. You got mint plus cucumber plus lime. You got grapefruit plus lime. You got toxic water plus lime. Depending on the liquor you add, Owen Mixers can create more than 50 cocktails. Owens is 100% non-alcoholic, no artificial flavors or sweeteners. Owens is available online at www.owensmixers.com or in stores nationwide. That's www.owensmixers.com or in stores nationwide. Get 20% off when you use the code BARSTOOL20 at owensmixers.com. So this right here is the shit I'm definitely the got these at Dallas Studio. Loves these. I remember she we drink Miami, cocktails all the time. Great sex on the beach. And uh, that was just, I was like, damn, when he ordered, I'm like, because I don't drink. I'm, I'm near getting some Owens seafood. Mixers. We was with uh, Jalen Rose that day. He ordered you can make your own cocktails. On, he told me, let me get a sex on the beach. I said, what the <laughs> fuck? That's because the beach right there. I'm getting some fried rice and some lobster tails. He told me, yeah, let me get a sex on the beach. I said, what? I said, you sound real fucking like Can't I'm ready to get the fuck away from Jalen. Like, damn, yo, you want a sex on the beach? <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, it was crazy. Hey, let's get into me and Osworth for game, right? Let me just say this. To all the youngins out there, right? In 2020, man, when we get off this corona shit, let's concentrate on one thing. Being great and getting to this money, man. All this violence that's going on out here, all this unnecessary killing, all these families going through this nonstop heartache, this shit got to come to some type of conclusion. You feel what I'm saying? To all the youngins out there, man, I'm going to just tell you this, man. If you're not concentrating on trying to get some money out here and trying to do something great out here, man, and trying to stay the fuck out the way and not die in prison or get dropped in that box, man, please get your mind right, man. Please, all of y'all out there, man, get your fucking mind right. I just lost three little cousins in the last probably seven, eight months. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And these was cousins that we hollered at, we talked to, we try to steer them in the right direction. And for some reason, they think they gonna beat the streets. You ain't gonna beat the streets, man. You can forget about that. The streets is a hundred zillion and fucking oh. Thanks. So to all the youngins out there, man, I only tell y'all this because it was on my heart, man. Yeah, I mean, God placed it on my heart to tell you niggas, man, focus, man. Let's get smart out here, man. Let's not be no statistic, man. Don't Hope your mama don't get that call because that's going to be a pain she ain't never felt in her fucking life. So to all the youngins out there, man, come on, man. Let's tighten up out here, man. Some of that shit y'all doing ain't even worth it, man. Sometimes you just got to take a step back, take a deep breath, and ask yourself, is this shit really worth it? Me risking going to jail for killing this nut-ass nigga right here, is it worth it? Yeah, calm down first. Is it? When I'm sitting in that pen, and I'm like, I killed this nut-ass nigga, 
is it worth it? That's what you got to ask yourself, man. Let's get into stories, stories from the cell. And before I get into stories from the cell, I want to tap on what Gil said. If you're a young boy and you're looking at this right now, I need to tell you something. You know, a lot of people are always telling you what, you, what you're doing wrong, why you're doing it, how you're doing it. What you, I'm going to just say this. We're dealing with some of the most fearless young boys in the history of our time. They don't fear mm. shit. Uh, I just think, imagine, I always say to myself, imagine what these young cats could do if they transfer that fearlessness to doing right. Mm-hmm. And the being fearless is at getting a degree. Being fearless is starting a business. Mm-hmm. Being fearless is making sure their project is better than when they, you know, that they doing the music or whatever. Being fearless in a, and it's doing a clothing line. Being fearless and whatever it might be, mm-hmm. and saying, you know what, I'm going to this job and I'm gonna get up. I'm, I'm gonna run this whole region in a minute. Right. I think I just think they'd be un fucking stoppable mm-hmm. because these young these young brothers, man, they just got, they got hearts of a lion, man. They don't really, they got, they really don't, they don't fear shit. So just imagine if you in a different department though, you take that whole thing, take it from the street department and taking it to the real life department right. and go after your dreams with that same fearlessness, that same, I'm gonna make this happen because when you in the streets, you come out the side of anything, you say, I'm gonna go get this money. Right. Rather you gonna rob somebody, rather I'm gonna go get this nigga, I'm gonna go shoot this nigga, or rather you gonna hustle, whatever. You have this, you have no doubt when you got this optimistic way of looking at life that I'm gonna go get this today. Right. Like it ain't no, you don't have no, it's not gonna happen. You go, that's why everybody goes so hard in the streets. Imagine if they took that same energy and that same approach and that same optimistic mindset and put it in this department of life. Right. Take it out of the street department and put it in a regular, everyday civilian department, they'd be fucking unstoppable. Right. And that's sort of like what I did. I was the dude that was out there that uh I was always doing dumb shit. I had no problem. I feared nothing. I didn't fear shit. You know, I ain't fear, you know, because I didn't know what was gonna happen to me. I'll get killed or go to jail. I ain't care. So, but when I turned that shit over. Mm-hmm. And just had to focus on this. Now I ain't got to worry about all this dumb shit. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's sweet. It's so easy. Mm-hmm. It's not like, like, dudes got to understand, man, it's so easy. I'm going to just say this, man. On this side, it's easier than you think with this to make a million dollars. Mm-hmm. With a phone. Like, we living in the world, my fault. We living in a world where you can make it. You can make a zillion dollars off of this. Like, right like in your I'm pocket. talking about, you could be sitting, everything you need is already in your pocket. All you don't the need a record label no listen, more. Listen, you, you don't right need here. Nothing. Everything is right here. I'm just, I just want y'all to take advantage of, take advantage of the opportunities out there, take advantage of the resources and really go in. Now we're going to tap into stories from the cell, right? My cellie come in the cell one time, right? He had some hooch. He was in the yard, right? They drinking hooch up in there. That jailhouse hooch. That I'm talking about. That's that yep. that's that alcohol, man. That jailhouse homemade alcohol. They got the yeast, they got the brew. I mean, they let it brew under the bed for a minute. Anybody Stank. know? A lot of you dudes was on that hooch in jail, drinking that hooch. You still So he come up. in the cell, right? He all stumbling and say, yo, Sally, that shit wasn't no joke. And I'm like, damn, because he was a younger cat. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It wasn't like he was an older dude. I'm like, yo, what the fuck you was doing? He was in the cell drinking with who? He was in here drinking with some old heads, mm-hmm. you know. There's from his way, but I was like, yo, you can't be doing that. Because uh, what a lot of people don't know is that a lot of people be in jail and it's just like people in the street. We use things to escape the reality of life. A lot of people use drugs to escape the reality of life. We got, people got different escapes. Everybody got some escapes. And uh, I seen a lot of people put themselves in some bad predicaments being addicted to drugs in prison. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And, I, and when I seen my Sully, I'm like, damn, Sully, you tripping. He threw up and all that. He was a little mad and upset that I seen him because he said I used to always be in there preaching to him, mm-hmm. right? Like, man, you always preaching, man. It was like, it was like, it was, it, it always was like, man, you always preaching, baby. I'm with this boy right here. We recording right now. Hey, April. We recording right now, baby. What's happening? I just wanted to see your face. You see me right now, baby. I miss you, baby. You nut ass nigga. Wow. Oh, soft you ass them, nigga. You know, cookie crit. Look at you. Eat your little. You nigga, know, we shooting a podcast, nigga. Serial. Happy Look birthday! You. Look at this Hi. nut. Look at this nut. Hi, April. You see this nut? You messing the whole my whole frame up, right, right. It's over. Listen, but so so the whole thing is like the whole thing is like pussy's power. Mm-hmm. You, you okay? Listen, the whole the whole listen the whole thing is like you be in a situation where it's though now you getting on you in jail you put yourself in positions and predicaments. Whereas though somebody can take advantage of you. Right. So you gotta be mindful. We got family members that be in the joint. Like if you got somebody you talking to, make sure you're talking to them and they on point. They ain't in jail trying to be in jail, in jail. In jail, in jail is like the hole. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So right now you got people that's in jail, in jail, in jail. 
So you in a hole, you're going through this corona, you be quarantined, so it's just fucked up for you. So you gotta think about it. Some people gotta escape. Then you know, everybody got their own thing and everybody go to How you used to escape? Who me? I used to escape through my uh music, reading, smut books. You know what I mean? Basically, like that was my, my so smut you would writing jerk as off well. to escape, huh? What I'll be free because I told you I had this interaction and this in this and this exchange with the women that was on the paper. It was like they had talked to me, uh, you know what I mean? Especially if I kept seeing the same one, I'd be like, damn, this my and like yeah, I might be you escape by writing smut you. material so, in. So hold on. No, looking at it, yeah. So you used to talk to bitches like you back again. I didn't think you was gonna come back a second time. I must have fucked the shit out you. No, oh, listen, that's bleak. No, I used to be. I used to be. I broke the. I broke. I broke the bed on you. No, I told you I have a smut table, <laughs> but, but the way I used to look at them is like, it's like it's like I try to get different things, different. The more material get on, the more personal it get. Like we got more time and like I know it more. This like is if I got in three, four book, books, I'm like, damn. And I be talking to my Sally. I mean, Sally or one of my homies. He be like, yo, man. I be like, man, you know, I'm fucking with now on a re on a regular. Who, man? Janet Jack me or you know whoever Jesus I may say. No, it's real life. Okay. Nigga, you got the paper. If I got the books and I got all these books over and I'm reading anything about her and I'm a historian. Have you ever talked to a counselor about some of that stuff? For what? Used to cope? All right, I just was curious. That's regular life. Have you had? Do you have any of those relationships now? Have you? Do you write any of them no, sometimes, no, no, or think about them, or talk to them in the shower? No, don't, don't get him in trouble. I'm gonna <laughs> slap the shit out of him. I don't you, do you wrote, that. you wrote who? You wrote Jan and Jack. We had Pinky I know she, on the show. You answer the phone during work. I know what's going on. We had Pinky, we had Pinky on the show. Pinky was when one I call, of his pick favorite. that phone up, nigga. I don't give a fuck what cameras out there. Pick it up. <laughs> and that's what. <laughs> hello. She want to do this. I mean, I mean, Cookie Chris, nigga. I wanted you to see me. You good? Let me see your background, <laughs> motherfucker. That's why he spent the phone. Uh, I'm bitch oh, ass hello. Nigga. <laughs> this nigga answered the FaceTime like this. Hey, hey babe. Call you didn't call me. Hey, nigga. babe. You bitch know, whatever. Pussy's nigga. power. Shout out to April. Bitch ass nigga. You Pussy's just so, so, so you seen for the record, he's a bitch ass Keggles, nigga. Keggles. And you can make this nigga answer no, under camera. Nigga, you gonna, you gonna show, you gonna show me the camera, get him out of your baby. I'm right here with he him. He stuck the camera yeah. right to Gilly. I'm with, the, I'm with this guy. I'm a right bitch to Gilly. Nigga. Right I'm on with Gilly. him. I'm a He's good babe. Nigga, Look. Man. Listen. Hey, listen, man. We appreciate y'all for tuning in to me and Osworth for game each and every week, making us the number one music podcast in the country. I go by the name of King Gilly. That's John Tackle. And this is a. Uh, Don't call me white girl. Stay in the house. Don't bitches. call a white girl, but call a white girl because she look like a white girl. Try to get pet ready. Queen of the mile. Try to nair that puss. I know it's hairy. It's super hairy. It's a rough time for us all. All right. And it's just like that. Right!